What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create the honeycomb building by Big Architects in Revit. Now this is quite a cool building where it has this honeycomb facade shape that's actually determined by uh, structural uh, properties of the building so the building can hold pools on the terraces of this uh, whole facade so it's quite cool and it's actually useful. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And of course, follow me on social media, I will be posting there every day now. So now, uh, this is what I'm going to be using, this is just just some floors to kind of give, give us some context for the whole facade. And I'm just going to be modeling the whole facade structure right now over here. And if you want to see how to model the actual pool on the terrace, for that you will need to join the Balkan Architect Platinum uh, member and for that you need to go to my Patreon page and the link is in the description and by joining you will get all of my project files that I've done so far. Okay, so let's get started with modeling. So I'm just going to go here to the south elevation and here basically you see this is the this is the facade and here we're just going to be modeling all of the elements and first I'm just going to move this out of the way all of these levels and now I'm just going to go into 3D or something doesn't really matter for now and uh, let's just go here to massing and site let's go to in place mass and let's just leave it at mass 1 it doesn't really matter and let's go to level 1 and once you're here in level 1, this is the south facade, this is where we're going to be placing the facade. Just go to reference plane, so go here to reference plane, and paste one plane kind of like this. And then you just extend it a bit and you give it a name. So you can just call it whatever, and okay, we can't call it whatever. So let's just call it, I don't know, B for Balkan Architect. And okay, so we have this reference plane and this is what we're going to be modeling on. Okay, so now I'm just going to drop down and go here to South Elevation. And once you're here, now you can start drawing. So basically, we're just going to be placing lines that look like this honeycomb facade. So I'm just going to be using these lines. And here you need to pick the work plane you're working on. So you just go by name and then you choose the, the one that you named. I named this one B, as you remember. So that's just what I'm going to be leaving at. And here I'm just going to be placing one line kind of like this because the, the roof part doesn't really have the kind of honeycomb contour. But anyway, so let's start from this part. Let's go a bit inward, then a bit upward, and you end it over here. Then you go from here again. You do some kind of crazy shape like that. Maybe go down here and then finish it off over here and just connect it over here. Just go up. Okay, then you start from this part. You go to, to this point and then you go maybe to the end, kind of like this. And if you can't align it, just uh, go back to line and you can kind of do a just a line for help and then kind of align it and then you can hit the tab and uh, select this line. So basically, if you kind of hover over this and you select everything and you just want to select one line, you hover over that line, you hit the tab button once or twice and you just select it. And now I can just delete it. And actually, I'm just going to move this up a bit. Okay, go back to line. So, I'm going to continue on here. Maybe do something similar like this. And uh, once I do this one line, then I like to do this end one and then just connect them. And you can always select this and kind of move it around, play around with the shape just to, to make sure that it looks real nice. And then here, just continuing on. Kind of go like that, then we go from here to here and connect these two. And again, uh, if you don't, uh, if you can't connect it, if you get this and you don't get this uh, kind of square, you just go hover over it and then you hit the tab again a couple of times and then you're, you can kind of connect it the, the right way. And then let's just extend this like that. So basically, I'm just going to continue on with that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so once you're done with the general shape, of course you can play around, yours doesn't have to be uh, exactly the same. Now we need to start uh, turning this from uh, just basic lines into surfaces. And how do you do that? Well, you just need to select one line, and then you go here to create form, and then it will create kind of a surface like this, but you want to kind of flip it around, and for that you need to select this line, then extend this on the other side, and here we're just going to type in a number, and for this I'm just going to be doing 4 meters for pretty much everything, and unfortunately I haven't figured out a more efficient way to do this, but if you select kind of all of these lines and then you go create form, it will kind of extend, but it won't be the exact number that you that you want. And then you need to do each one separately, so it doesn't really make doesn't really make too much sense. So let's do this to four, kind of like that. So you pretty much end up doing everything a line by a line, so you don't mess anything up. So it's not really that efficient for modeling, but you get the point. So you just select one, you kind of invert it to the other side, you hit four meters over here, and then you just continue on doing this. So I'm just going to fast forward through this because you don't really, you don't really have to watch everything. Okay, so I have extended all of these and we have something that looks like the, the actual building, but what now? How do you turn this into something that looks a bit more realistic? So you just go here to finish mass and you wait for a second. Okay, so this is what you have. This is a just an in-place mass and now you need to turn this into something uh, material. So you just go here to masking in sight and you find this roof option and I'm just going to select this 125 millimeter roof and again feel free to select whatever suits your needs. So I'm just going to kind of select everything and go create roof and then it's just going to do a few of them and then go again create roof and it doesn't work every time, so you need to kind of hold the the control or shift or let's see. Yeah, just just add the ones that uh, kind of didn't materialize. Let's see. Okay, this one, this one, this one. We've got a few over here. So for some reason, it kind of has this thing where it doesn't do its job sometimes. So you kind of have to play around. Okay, spin around this one, create roof, this one here. Okay, those are all the horizontal ones. Uh, now you need to, okay, this one as well. Okay, I caught that in time. So now you need to do the vertical ones, and the vertical ones you can't really do these as a floors, uh, oh sorry, as roofs. So you need to kind of go here to this wall command, and then I suggest you create a wall that kind of suits, or let's do that. So just go into edit type, edit here and let's do this at 0.125 so that's 125 millimeter just go apply okay we didn't change the name but who cares nobody saw that okay go to wall and then uh, you just go and here pick walls so you just select the walls and you and then it basically becomes a a real thick wall so let's do all of these Let's see. Okay, I think I've I've gotten all of them. Okay, and when you finish, it sometimes looks a bit messy over here, but you can kind of extend the wall and then just go and uh, use the modify, go use the join command or something like that. So you can kind of play around and uh, fix everything up so it looks it looks real nice. Okay, this one looks nice. Let's see where do we have these problematic spots? Yeah, maybe here. So again, do join select this, this, okay this one won't work okay sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't let's see, will this one work let's try joining these two okay this one works, but you get a point, so you just kinda fix everything up and if you want to see how to add pools to this facade I suggest you hit the first link in the description that will lead you to my Patreon and for only five dollars a month you will get access to all of the bonus tutorials as well as all of the project files. I've got over 130 files for now and I'll be adding more with each tutorial. Okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions leave them in the comment section below and of course follow me on social media. I will be posting there every day now. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm, a, I'm an architect. And this is um, my design process. It's a revolution. 
courtyard. 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 I'm a whore.